Hello everyone, AC3D CAD here again. Uh, today we are going to design a popular toy called fidget spinner. This one is a multi lobe metal or plastic with bearing at the center to make this thingy spin. Alright, uh, so we can start and have fun. This is a drawing I did earlier for reference and this is a structure that holds the bearings with its dimensions. I'm going to adjust the size to give uh, space for the new one. Click here, hover over new, click drawing, select Ekadiso 3D for metric. Click this drop down arrow and make sure you are working on 3D modeling space. I'm going to click view, tile vertically, and adjust the size of this window. This one here. Work on Start working on top view. Make sure you are working on parallel. And start with circle. Type D for diameter. Enter 23. Right click to repeat circle. Enter 34. No, I did not do the D. Circle again. Click center. Type D. Enter. And enter 34. There you go. Copy the inner circle. And bring it down for 30 units go to the ribbon and select uh, polar array select these two circles specify center point of array the center is here and very you know type six items here right click to enter Type X to explode, enter, select the circles, now it's not, uh, it's now individual circles, and select the circles that you don't want. Go to circle again, but select this tangent, tangent, radius options, click that side, click that side, with the radius of 17. 17 just enter select circle again tangent tangent and uh, enter 17 do it again tangent tangent and enter 17 type TR for trim right click Right click again to select all, remove that, remove this one, this one, and the inside, and enter. We have to join these segments because they are broken. So type J for join, enter, select the broken segments. Now it is one segment. We have to extrude this for eight millimeters. So go to Southwest uh, isometric. Go to the ribbon and select extrude. Click that one. Extrude it, extrude it downward for eight units. I'm just gonna Turn off the grid. 
and then we have to create three holes here for the ball bearing so select press pull from the ribbon highlight that area and just drag it and click this one drag it and click this one drag it and click drag click enter now we have to do fillet for these sides here so go to solid select fillet edge uh, enter radius for 4 enter Se select chain select that side and select this side right click to enter enter again now the first part is done uh, in, an, in my next video I'm gonna do the ball bearing thank you for watching bye bye